There are two types of orbits, circular and elliptical. Circular orbits are for satellites or spacecrafts that need to maintain a consistent altitude and travel in a regular circle around Earth. Mapping satellites, GPS, and weather satellites all use circular orbits. Elliptical orbits are oval in shape. They're used when a high altitude is needed for part of the orbit without having to go all the way to high altitude circular orbit. Spacecraft delivering satellites in high orbit use an elliptical orbit to deliver their payload. So, how does a geosynchronous orbit work? A body of any sort orbiting the Earth, one such as our moon for example, stays in permanent orbit when the gravitational forces attracting it to the planet are balanced by the centrifugal forces generated by its speed of travel around the Earth that tend to send it flying outward. The speed at which a satellite needs to travel for these forces to be in balance depends on its distance from the planet. Near the Earth, where the gravitational attraction is greater, its speed would have to be very high, and anyone wanting to receive signals from a satellite might only be able to do so for a couple of minutes at a time. In the same orbit as our moon, they'd be able to see the satellite for about 10 hours a day. But in either case, they would need a reception dish, which would constantly track the moving satellite across the sky. But at 36,000 kilometers above the equator, about one-tenth of the way to the moon, and with a speed of 13,000 kilometers an hour, a satellite will stay in orbit at the same point or orbital position over the Earth as it rotates. Here's an example of a communication satellite taking surveillance images from over 22,000 miles in space.